Quitting smoking, day 98, week 14. Still not smoking. Still using my e-cigarette. Um, oh. Am I tempted? Yes. Do I still love the smell of fresh cigarette smoke? Yes. Which is weird for me because at the beginning of this, I hated that smell. Um, but... It is what it is. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to, I'm not going to quit quitting. Um, I'm not going to throw it all away when I've come this far. New Year's Day is day 100 for me. Um, it's also three years sober for me as well. <sighs> New Year's Day, that wasn't planned, but that worked out perfectly this year. Um, just the timing of everything. And I'm proud of myself because you know what? 2018 is nearly over and I get to end the year smoke free. No more cigarettes. I keep trying to record this and the words keep getting away from me. 2018 is almost over. By the time you see this video, there'll be just hours left. You know what? Every year has its ups and its downs. Its highs and its lows. No year is ever just really good or really bad. You know, we all have our moments. This year started off on the wrong foot, literally. Started off on a bad note. We got a call New Year's Day that someone who we spent a lot of time with growing up and who, you know, was like a second mum to my mum had passed away, literally on New Year's Day. So that was obviously not a great way to start the year. And yeah, there have been negative things throughout the year. Which was ironic, because New Year's Day we were thinking, well, if we found that out on New Year's Day, and that's how we're starting the year, surely it's going to get better. And it did. It's had its, it's had its great moments. But it's had its bad ones too, like my husband's foot. Oh my God. <laughs> he was off work all summer with an issue with his foot that wasn't diagnosed until I think... And Hanny, if you're watching this, forgive me if I'm wrong. August as a broken foot? It wasn't diagnosed as a broken foot till August, and he's still having issues with it, and now they're saying it won't be healed till next year. Um, although we're doubting that at the moment as well. For me personally, my depression, as I speak, is at one of its lowest points. And there's several, there's several reasons for that. The main one being, you know, I'm ending the year again without accomplishing the one thing I've always wanted to accomplish. I'm not going to get upset. But that's always hard. That's always a hard thing to swallow. That's always a hard thing to deal with. Um, I should be used to it by now, after eight years, but... Um, those who know me will know what I've been eight years. But I'm not used to it. And it does drag me down. And it does fucking tear my heart out, man. Like, no. I'm gonna cry. I've been stressed this, this year to the point where my hair was falling out. And just for a week in December. And to be fair, I'm glad it only lasted a week. Because um, I don't trust my people that can last a lot longer. But for a week, mid December, I want to say, I cooked my stomach food. Like, I wasn't eating during the day, and then in the evenings, I would cook myself dinner, but I just had no appetite. I couldn't eat. And my depression has never done that to me before. It's never stopped me eating or made me not want to eat, obviously. 
old diet thing, but we'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, I've never been so low that, you know, food just wasn't appealing. Um, I've been low. I've been a lot lower than I am now. But that's never happened to me before. Um, and at the time I couldn't understand why, because I wasn't registering that I was so low that food just wasn't appealing. It, it wasn't clicking. Um, but do you know what? I'm not... I'm not going to talk too much about the negatives because in a lot of ways this has been one of the best years of my life. I quit smoking. And I'm ending the year smoke free. I <clears throat> lost well over a stone. Well, I'm down from 13 stone dead on to 11, 10, which to me is well over a stone and I'm proud of myself for that. Um, and I'm going to keep going with that in 2019 too. I had one of the best summers I can remember. Just actually going out in the heat and even though it was way too, way too hot, like, but, and I, I, I hate hot weather. I hate it. Autumn, winter, I've said it several times before, my favourite times of year, or even though my back despises cold weather. And it makes me, it lets me know. It lets me know it despises cold weather. Believe me, I'm in agony as we speak. But I was actually out in the summer and I actually went out and I did things and I had fun and I enjoyed the weather. And I never do that. I never do that. I went out to a fair this year. I rode freaking fair rides this year. I, I don't do things like that. But I did that this year and I took myself out of my comfort zone. My sister, her kids, and myself, we had a great day that day. We all ended up looking like lobsters, we were that burned. But we had a great day. Um, my mum's 60th, she's going to kill me for saying that, on the 20th, on the 20th of December. Great time, great night. Went out for a meal, as a family, my mum, my sister, kids, myself, and we just had a laugh. Just a lot of great things this year, a lot of great things this year, and things that I am so happy about. Every year I write down a list, um, and it's for things I want to accomplish that year, and I've got another one up on my wall now for 2019. I'm not going to show it. This year I think I had, it was either 11 or 13 things that I wanted to accomplish this year. And I've only accomplished four of them. But thinking about it and looking back, I'm happy with just accomplishing four of them. Because that's still four things I've accomplished. Uh, losing weight. Quitting smoking. <laughs> Couldn't find the words. Getting my husband's name tattooed on me. Um, as a surprise for him. And towards the end of the year, uh, uploading once a week to YouTube. That was a goal. And towards the, for the most part of the year, I didn't accomplish that. But I did once I quit smoking because I finally had a reason to do upload. So aside from obviously the one thing that's dragging me down and that's on my list every year, I'm happy with what I accomplished. And I'm not going to worry about what I didn't because what was important to me has been added to 2019's list. What didn't matter hasn't. Um, but I'm lucky. I'm lucky in the sense that I get to end the year and bring in 2019 in happy marriage. I love my husband more than anything. With a great family around me. My mum, my sister, the kids. They're all amazing. I love them. And three beautiful, sometimes mischievous, most of the time mischievous, mischievous, um, I can't say that word, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. Um, 
gorgeous little dogs. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, two, well, two little, one large. Who, yes, drive me up the bloody wall sometimes, but do you know what? I wouldn't trade them for the world. They're my freaking heart, they're my life. Um, Dallas, Logan, Kara. Um, I trade their medical bills in a heartbeat though, <laughs> to be fair. Oh, 2018's been a year of it too. Dallas has had pancreatitis twice this year. Uh, Logan's got some kind of allergy that we still don't know what it is and he's actually in 2019 got to have more tests done to try and get to the bottom of that because it's making him chew his paws. Not good. Uh, Kara had to have a lumpectomy this year. <laughs> huh, that was fun. Recovery, Jack Russell. <laughs> no, no. See, we found out they tell you to try and not, try not to let them jump or move around or like, you know, do too much. But they say it so they can laugh when you leave. According to the vet we said. Yeah, because she's a Jack Russell, she's got springs for legs, we can keep her still. Um, <laughs> plus when the anaesthetic was wearing off and she was on pain relief and oh my god. They, they don't tell you there's honey in the pain relief and that that's got sugar. So it's best to give it to them in the mornings instead of in the evenings. Yeah, they don't tell you that stuff. Oh my god, but yeah, they drive me up the wall but I love them, I love them to death and they're my fair babies. So back to my point, I'm lucky. I'm lucky I get to end the year like this. It may not be how I want to end it. It may not be, you know, everything I was hoping it would be, but it's my life. And I'm lucky because I have, like I said, amazing people around me, amazing dogs around me who, you know, I'm looking at that picture of Carlos. Yeah. He's a goofball. Um, see, I can't help it. My dogs make me smile. My husband makes, my, my family makes me smile. Everyone makes me smile at the moment. They're doing a really good job, I love them. Um, <laughs> sounds like one of the pictures my husband hung up earlier just fell down. <laughs> Pull myself to get that and I will go and check on that in a minute. Um, so even just recording this video has cheered me up. Um, <sighs> what was I saying? I don't know. 2018 is nearly over. This video is all over the place and I apologise for that. 2018 is nearly over, I'm finishing it smoke free over a stone lighter than I was and I'm going to kick 2019's backside. There's no other way about it. I have to. <laughs> I want my video a year from now if I'm still doing videos by then. It's crossed. Um, I want my video to be me ending the year saying this was the best year of my life ever. Then that's what I'm going to do. My apologies if this video is all over the place. It was a last minute decision to record this and throw it in on top of my quitting smoking video because I didn't have enough of a quitting smoking video to really feel like it was worth uploading. So I thought just screw it, do it now, just do this and stick it in there, why not? Um, oh my god, I was going to turn that into an anyway, but like, he does that a lot. I love him. Um, one thing I want to say before I end is, if you are watching this, I know I don't get many viewers, but if you are watching this and you are going through a hard time, please know it will get better. Um, that's something I tell myself daily. No matter how bad things are, they will get better. No matter how depressed I feel, it will get better. It's going to take work, but it will get there. Um, there is no magic one thing cures all solution. It just is what it is at this point. Um, for anyone doubting that 2019 is going to be a good year, just kick it off. Kick 2019's ass. Um, so you can do. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you next year. Thanks for watching. Quick update. Nothing fell. I went. I looked. I found nothing. So, not really sure what that noise I heard was. Um, but yeah.
There you go.